Hello, good day. My name is Samuel Spencer, and today I'll be showing you how to configure and connect with Windows Remote Desktop. First of all, we'll be using these two operating systems where we remote it from Windows Server 2008 to Windows 7. So, in order to start, first you'll need to enable Remote Windows Remote Desktop in each operating system. So first I'll be going to Windows 7. We're gonna click start, highlight my computer, right click and click properties, and as this windows come up, you're going to see remote setting to the left. So you click that. Now I'm logged in as a a normal user, not as the administrator. So this window will pop up. Once you are not the administrator of this domain or computer, so I'm typing my administrator credentials. And as you can see, it takes us straight here. Under remote desktop, you see these three options. As you can see here, by default, it's set to don't allow connections to this computer. We won't be leaving it as that. You can, and the other two options one is the allow connection from users or in any version of remote desktop. We'll be selecting the second option allow connection from computers or in any version of Windows desktop. This allows for easier connection from almost any Windows operating system. And if you go to select users, here you can actually add users that you want to allow to connect to this computer. By default administrator is allowed access. So we will log in as the administrator. So we don't need to add any other user right now. So we're going to click cancel. Once you have selected the second option, click OK. And Windows 7 is configured to be remotely accessed. If we go back to our Windows Server 2008, Click start. Now I have remote before with this operator system. That's why this option is here right now. But if you're doing this for the first time, you can simply do in the search bar that's type in remote and option should come there. You'll be selecting remote desktop connection. Now there are two ways to connect to a computer. To select which computer you want to connect to, you can either type in the name of that computer or you can type in the IP address of that computer. Since we know the name of the computer, I'll be showing you with both options with the name and with the IP address. First, I'll be showing you it with the name. As you can see, I already have a type in here Windows 7 slash PC. It has to be typed out exactly. Like how the name is on that operating system. So if you go back to Windows 7 and we highlight computer and right click and click properties, as you can see here, the computer name is Windows 7 PC, all in uppercase. So you just have to type it out and spell it out exactly like how it's here. Once you type it out, all you just simply have to do is click connect and it will immediately ask for login credentials. Now you can log in with any account once it's on the server. I'll be logging in as the administrator. As you can see, I already have the admin account here. I just have to type in password. And click OK. Now this process will take a few minutes, so you'll need a little bit of patience. And as you can see here, this window pops up. So we are successfully connected to the Windows 7 PC. But as you can see, no change has happened to our Windows 7 desktop. I'm currently logged in as a secondary user. As who is Perry Pumon, not as your administrator. 
So due to that, it's given me this message another user is log, currently logged on to the computer. If you continue, this user has to disconnect from the computer that you want to continue. Yes, you want to continue. And once you click yes on the client PC, this message will pop up. You can either leave and put it a second time, it will automatically connect, or if you just click OK, and it will log out and allow me to log into the local computer, which is the Windows 7 PC. And as you can see, I'm logging as the administrator. One other thing to note when logging in, I wasn't able to show it due to have logged in before. But for the first time, it will when it is you logging into the client PC, it will give you an error telling you a uh, wrong password. That is because it's trying to when it is trying to log into the Windows 7 PC with your administrator account, that account, that administrator account does not exist on that PC. So what you'll have to do is go select switch users and select new user. You're logging in as a new user, and just as I've shown in past tutorials, you're typing the server name for backslash administrator. So you'll log into the roaming profile of the administrator. As you can see, we are remotely controlling the Windows 7 PC from Windows Server 2008. You can see this is still my Windows. Silver PC and Windows 7 is running, it's being remotely controlled with software. And as you can see, you can only computer only allows one user at a time. So, is even if you are connecting with a different profile, only one user can use a computer at a time. Once you're using your computer and you log in using remote, con remote desktop, that other user will either have to log out for you to use it or they continue to use it and you try all the time. Nice thing about remote desktop too is that you can send messages between users. If you go to the task monitor, you can see my administrative account is logged in, my administrator. You can, as you can see, it's logged in from the server client name, server here, yes, and the protocol it's using to connect. And from here, you can even send a message to that user. Anything wrong? Yes. Hello. How are you? And when they log in next, they will get that message. So I'm going to disconnect now. We will get this warning message telling you this will disconnect your connection, your session. Let's click OK. And if you go back to the Windows 7 PC and log back in, as you can see, your mission account is being shown as still being logged in, although I have that logged out. And this is the user account we were using previously. We're going to log back into that. And as you can see, as we log back in, we get the message Hello, how are you from the administrator? So you can actually send messages from users from even the task form. This is an extra note. It's not really related to remote desktop, but Fine, kind of cool. And this was your best way to show it. Now we're going to enable Windows Remote Desktop in Windows XP and connect from the Windows 7 to the Windows XP PC. Now, Windows XP, although it's a little more old and a little more different, it's still the same thing basically. I'm logging as the administrator. Windows XP, so you highlight my computer, right click, 
Dynamic Properties and you're going to select the tab name remove as you can see here it, it don't have the three options like Windows 7 all it will simply do is allow users to connect remotely to this PC and as with before if you select remote users the administrative accounts have full access to connect to this PC if we type in server1 backslash harry and we take check name this option will come up showing that harry Pullman as you can see it authenticated that account we click ok once you added the account click ok So once you have that selected, let's click OK. We're going to our Windows 7 PC. And just as before, you can either type in remote desktop or you can go to all programs, accessories, and under accessories, you'll see the option remote desktop connect. Now we're going to connect we connected previously by typing in the computer name of the client PC now we're going to connect using the IP address of that PC so I already know the IP address of the PC but if you're unsure you can go to that client PC so I click on the network connection click status go to support and you see the IP address of that PC. So it's 192.168.56.108. So let's type that in here. So let's click in. Now this uh, this message is just warning you that um, it recognizes that you're trying to connect to a PC that is lower than Windows Vista. And that's basically telling you it's not um, properly configured for authorization with Windows XP due to the difference um, of, with the operating system. But it's not exactly stopping you. So you can just click yes and it still allow you to connect. And as you can see, the login comes up. I just simply really type in the password. Mm -hmm. As you can see here, we are now remotely streaming the desktop of Windows XP to our Windows 7 PC. So we are remotely controlling it. And once you finish, just log off. And that's it. Now, as you can see, you now allowed to log back in to the PC. And that was it for my tutorial of remote desktop. Thank you very much.